What is up guys, it's Moose here, bringing you guys another video. I know I haven't made a video in a little while, um, but I'm going to start trying to put out some videos here. Um, the next couple days is Christmas, is the holidays, all that stuff. So there may not be a couple videos out here for a little while, but when I get back from all that, I'll hopefully have one coming out every day on this new series right here. Um, and what we're going to be talking about here is how to control B objectives on Domination. I'm, I'm going to hopefully go through all the Call of Duty Ghost maps. Um, back at 500 subscribers, I did a giveaway for the best idea of a new series, and this was the winner of the series. It was like how to control um, different parts of the map, how to control the middle of the map, um, and the B flag on Domination is a great thing to control, obviously. You control B flag on Domination, 9 times out of 10 you will win the game, um, and if you sit around B, that is the probably the best way to get a lot of kills and win the game for your team. So to get right in it here, Whiteout is the first map we have. And we're going to go over a little diagram here, and then I'm going to give you some gameplay so you guys can see it in real time. The first place um, I want to talk about is the rock on Whiteout. I have it circled in red there on this little map. It's by B. If you spawn at A, you will have a better chance of the spot. Because um, if you spawn at C, you, you kind of see from the map there, it wouldn't really work out. But if you spawn at C, you might want to go somewhere else that I'll show you a little later, or the other side of B. Um, B on Domination in Whiteout is a just a crazy crazy c4 throwing shotgun running cave basically in there it's one of the most fun b flags i think in the game because it's so intense in there but what i think you should do is on this rock here for this um little for this spot whatever you want to call it if you get on that rock you don't get on it you kind of hide behind it you watch um c you watch them spawn at c you want to check the boat every little once in a while um here's a little clip from it um, so you can basically just see me, um, head glitching the rock. It's a great spot. That's where they spawn up there. So, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, make sure they can't get into B. They usually don't check here, especially if you have a silencer. Um, but they will every once in a while. Sometimes they'll spawn at the boat and they'll pick you off from there too. So you definitely gotta watch your back at all times. But if you can run here immediately right off the spawn, usually they'll try to run into B from right here, like that guy right there. And you can take them out like that. The next spot is what I call the circle. Um, it's not really a spot, it's something you have to run, or somewhere you have to run. Um, if you can start from either side of the green line. Say you want to get in B from the uh, from the boat side, from the left side, the C side. You want to get in B, but you know there's a bunch of guys in there. What you do is you follow that green line around, um, and you try not to get taken out, obviously. And if you can sneak up behind them there, that is the quickest way to just take out three or four people and really get B control for your team. Say they take it and they're just camping in there, they're throwing C4, you can't get in there, your teammates keep dying. Run this circle, this little C, whatever you want to call it, run this little circle. Either way, it'll work if you're at A spawn too. You run the other way around it and you get them from behind every time. Um, I actually have a little bit of gameplay here. Um, I kind of started to do the circle, but I kind of stopped and just sat in a corner, you'll see at the end. Um, but as you can see, I run around here. I'm running around, I'm going through the gates there, and then there's, this is also a good idea, if you just sit in this corner right here, they'll usually run past you. Um, as you can see, we were taking B, so I didn't really need to run in there, because I knew they weren't in there, so I just sat there, I got a kill, and then I think I ducked in that building. The next place is the boat. Um, the boat is has a lot of benefits, has a lot of not benefits, I guess you could call it. Um, the benefits about the boat are that you can see almost everything by B on that side, and if they poke their head out at B, you can get them. The not benefits are that as soon as you kill somebody in the boat, usually you get called out immediately, so the other team knows where you are, and you're pretty um, out in the open. You're not really hidden that well when you're on the boat. It's a big uh, landmark on this map. A lot of people know about it, so, I mean, it's a good spot. You get a couple kills there, but you're going to need to run away from there. I wouldn't really suggest the spot that much, but you can see B, so I wanted to put it in this video. Um, I have a small clip of me just running on the boat here. I get a kill, um, and then I kind of just jump off. Um, the next and the last, and I think it's the best spot. It's not You can't sit there for a long time like the other spots, um, but it is a very good spot. Um, as the game gets out a little bit more, it won't, it'll become a little less and less cool, but I'm sure I'm not the only person that's found this. I know I'm not the only person that's found this, but um, in B, right where that red dot is almost, there's a rock in there that you can get up and crouch on, and people do not look there. I don't know why. I always do because I know the spot. Now, you guys will know the spot. It's a great spot to get two or three kills um, quickly if you're trapped in B, and then you got to just get out of there. Um, so I'll show you a little gameplay of me doing it. Um, I was trapped in here. I killed that guy, and it's this rock right here. You just jump on it. 
I crouch usually. Sometimes I lay down and look towards the boat. Um, but look at there will be a guy coming in right there, and then two more right on B. So, I mean, it is a great spot. I really do like it, but you got to jump off right after that because then they know where you're at. So, if you guys like this video, um, please click the like button. That helps me out so much. Um, sub if you guys aren't already. Comment down below what, you guys, what map you guys want to see next. I'll try to do them all, but we'll see what order you guys want. And I hope you guys love this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.